Norosil's leading series 2700 high pressure control valves are a flexible solution for gas and liquid applications needing modulating or on-off service in liquid or gas control. The series 2700 family features three valve actuator configurations, including a standard configuration, extended bonnet configuration, and a closed couple configuration. Each configuration comes with a single ported valve body with your choice of plug control or cage control trim. In this video, I'll highlight installation best practices for the Series 2700 control valve. The first thing you should do before installing your valve is check the nameplate to verify that you have the right product with the right pressure rating, trim size, and materials for your application. You can find it on the upper diaphragm. Then do a quick scan of the valve to make sure it didn't sustain any damage during shipping. You'll also want to blow air into the pipelines to get rid of any material that may have settled in them and wipe down threaded or gasketed surfaces. Pay attention to your flow direction when you're installing the valve. Flow direction will depend on the application and trim selection. The plug you choose will affect how the valve capacity changes as the valve moves through its cycle. The plug control trim, which can be either balanced or unbalanced, is used when fluid is flowing up under the valve plug. The fluid pressure drop will occur between the plug and the seat. The curvature of the plug will signify the flow as quick opening or modified percent. The cage control trim, which will always be balanced, can be used when fluid is moving either up or down. The fluid pressure drop will occur at the cage's port. The curve on the cage will signify the flow as linear or equal percent. Norris seal valves come standard with spring diaphragm pneumatic actuators. These diaphragms are available in spring closing or spring opening types and are both available in a range of sizes to suit your operating conditions. Before we get started, let's discuss some safety issues. Maximum allowable pressures for the valve body and diaphragm and the maximum allowable temperature for the valve are shown on the nameplate. If pressure to the valve is capable of exceeding these limits, install relief valves and other protection devices. And it goes without saying that you should always follow good piping practices. Make sure you have a suitable gasket in between the body and pipeline flanges. And for threaded bodies, use proper thread sealant. And where the piping is insulated, don't insulate the valve above the valve bonnet flange. Now you can connect the instrument air to the diaphragm or position connection. Make sure the piping and instrument air signal doesn't exceed the maximum instrument air pressure stamped on the valve nameplate. And under no circumstances should the actuator loading pressure exceed 55 PSI. If you do, you might rupture the diaphragm. Check for proper valve operation by cycling the diaphragm several times and observing the movement. Your valve will come from the factory preset, but under certain conditions, the actuator springs might need to be adjusted to meet your specific operation requirements. This is a straightforward process. If you have a reverse actuator, you'll loosen the lock nut on the stem below the spring and turn the adjusting nut above it clockwise to increase the spring's preload and plug seating force. This will help you achieve a more secure shutoff. Turn the adjusting nut counterclockwise to reduce preload. Be sure to tighten the lock nut after making the adjustments. For a direct actuator, you'll loosen the lock nut on the adjusting nut below the spring and turn the adjusting nut clockwise to increase the spring's preload. Turn it counterclockwise to reduce the preload. Then retighten the lock nut after you're done with the adjustment. One more thing before you finish up. After installation, stroke the valve to make sure it strokes smoothly from full open to full closed. For more information, download our new Series 2700 Operations and Maintenance Manual, which is available at www.norisseal.com.